A local Texas company is providing some medical equipment that's being used in the war with Iraq. The product is called the Thermal Angel, and it's a computer-controlled precise heater that prevents hypothermia during fluid replacement. Well, what does all that mean? Well, you're joining me in that question. TXN's Gadget Guy and Jay Lopez, who's from the company that makes the Thermal Angel, joins us now to tell us how it works. I'm proud of you. You're not doing something goofy like instant messaging <laughs> teen girls or something, you know. This is this really uh, is quite a quite a, a piece of equipment. And what, what's most interesting about this is the Devil Docs, who are the the, yeah. the groups on the front line that set up a Humvee-based military... Kind of uh, a modern-day MASH unit. Absolutely, and they can set it up and tear it down in an hour. They're actually using this product to save lives in the desert. And basically what it does is it warms any kind of fluid that you would take via IV. And I'm going to let Jay talk about how it works, and I'm going to open up the case here on it and let you look inside. Well, the Thermal Angel warms uh, either blood products or IV products. And core body temperature is considered to be 37 degrees Celsius. So if you give the body something lower than 37 degrees Celsius, you risk uh, putting the body into hypothermia. The, the fluid will come in at uh, whatever the ambient temperature is into the thermal angel. And if you're infusing it, you, you have potential for hypothermia. But now that you're using the thermal angel on the front lines in Iraq, it runs the fluid through the tubing and it outputs at 38 degrees Celsius. So instead of potentially putting the body into a hypothermic state, you're warming the fluid before you give it to them. Now, in the past, an, an EMT, right. someone out in the field, would take the bag of IV and literally stick it yeah. under their armpit to warm it up, uh, I guess, kind of convectionally yeah. that way, which is kind of interesting. You've got... Yeah, thanks for that image. <laughs> Appreciate that. Yeah. But obviously, this could, I would assume it's much more precise. You're talking about uh, getting it to what? Body temperature to deliver it. So Correct. So one-to-one -one almost. Right. The, the, their computer inside the Thermal Angel is regulating the temperature 5,000 times a second. It's that precise. So that any changes in flow rate coming into the product or any changes in the temperature of the fluid being infused, the Thermal Angel reacts 5,000 times a second. Aside from the hypothermia you mentioned, any other downfalls to, to when you can't get it heated up quickly, when you don't have a, a good heat transfer? Well, if, if you don't heat the fluid before you're putting it into the body, you risk hypothermia. Yeah. And uh, the, the side effects of hypothermia are uh, cloudy judgment, um, your body reacts negatively, your, your heart may slow down, even to the point where you could actually have your heart stop in very severe hypothermia. And if you've either ever had an IV in the hospital, just uh, whether yeah. it be a blood transfusion or, or not, I guess that'd be a little extreme, but just an IV, yeah. you get the, chat, the chills and you can sit there and just kind of chatter away. And it, you might think it's nerves, but it's actually the cold fluid going into your body. We, we've got a setup here. We yeah, can actually play with it. this here. Okay. Uh, we've got the, a thermal angel that's not taken apart. And uh, we'll we've got it. a battery pack. This is going to actually run right now at ambient temperature. So in the studio, it's probably about... Oh, it's a little cool here, so it's probably 50-something. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely Okay, so that's chill. cold fluid. Now, if you're infusing that in your body, you can imagine the effects. Yeah, that's colder than it would be out of a... So let me, let me mm -hmm. plug in the thermal angel and hook it up to the battery pack, and now you'll feel that the fluid starts warming. Within 45 seconds, it'll be 38 degrees Celsius. I can feel it warm up a little bit. And yeah. then you can also tie in any kind of other fluid into the, the tubing here. Jay, how does that work? If you want? Uh, for instance, if this was blood, blood is stored at 4 degrees Celsius. This right now is probably 20. So you can imagine you how cold feel blood it is. Up now, yeah. uh, what, what's the process when you run um, blood through there? There must be some type of, is it a one-time use? It is. This it? is a single-use disposable yeah. product. That's part of the reason the military really is uh, taking it on so quickly because they don't necessarily have the facilities to sterilize a lot of things. Yeah. So the sense. thermal angel is disposable. You use it once, you throw it away. And Jay told me it's on the Humvees, obviously. It's in the 4x4s. It's in several uh, EMT or emergency vehicle. Is this something only for medical personnel, or do they have it as part of an emergency first aid kit with the, the soldiers, you know? It's, it's used you. for the soldiers. The medics are carrying it in their packs because it's only nine ounces. There's nothing else that's portable like it. This battery that we see here, is that in the field with it? or This battery is version? in the field with it, and the military has actually asked us to develop a special thermal angel for them, and we're in R&D for it. Uh, they want something that will run with their radio batteries. Wow. Michael, I can't help but notice you're soaking in palm olive. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Madge. Thanks for bringing it down to your level. That really is quite a, a, a little uh, piece of equipment there. Um, but besides military applications, obviously any kind of, right. you know, pick your uh, emergency group that could use this to warm the fluid. So no more chattering teeth in the hospitals during your blood transfusions. Which
All right. Well, Jay, thanks for uh, bringing him up to, you know, respectable level yeah, well, I'm trying. We've actually had a decent segment this week. Can you, <laughs> can you come back next I'll week? I'll be here. All right. Jay Lopez and the gadget guy, Dave Matthews. Did you want to plug your website before we move on? You know, I'll, I'll uh, plug Thermal Angel. You can see more about this at uh, thermalangel.com. All that? right. Great. Thanks, Dave. So I'm not a tasteless self-promoter all the time. Yeah. Okay. We found the one time you're not. Thank you, Dave Matthews, the gadget guy.